Hey guys, and welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. I hope everybody's having a splendid day. First off, I want to start off by saying thank you so much. We are at 240 subscribers, I'm pretty sure. So I wanted to thank everybody. Literally, I don't know how we got here. We got here so fast. So thank you so much. It feels like I was at 200 literally yesterday. So thank you. Thank you for watching the shorts. And thank you for leaving really nice comments. Like all of them are so nice. I'm still getting comments on the um, Big Lick racing video. Um, and I'm glad people can tell the difference between abuse and actual riding and having fun. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for 240 subscribers. It means literally so much to me. Um, anyway, let's go on to the video. So I was in the shower, as you can tell my hair is wet, where I think of all my video ideas. Don't ask, it's random, I know. <laughs> so I was trying to think of three videos, three videos to do. Um, and I was just kind of thinking of my pets. So I thought of a fish video, a hamster video, and a gecko video. I'll tell you the three videos right now um, if you want to stay tuned. So obviously this is the fish video and it's going to be about fake plants, live plants, how to care for your plants, everything about plants. Sorry, anyway, as I was saying, fake plants, live plants, everything like that that has to do with plants and your fish tanks. Um, I need to get more plants for my fish tanks because a couple of mine died. I've had them for months and in the beginning I didn't take very good care of them so they started getting brown and dying. Um, I still have a few of mine, I don't know if you can really see my tank but it's kind of empty so I need to get some more. Um, but yeah, that's uh, the fish video obviously. Um, the gecko video is going to be safe and not safe um, fruits and vegetables kind of thing, foods in general. Um, I'll do voiceover, pictures, everything like that. So if you want that video, stay tuned. And for the hamster video it is going to be free roaming, good places, how to keep them safe, um, everything like that. So stay tuned if you want to hear those videos. In the order will be obviously the fish video now, then the gecko video, and then the hamster video. So yeah, hopefully in a couple weeks, I can get some guinea pig hamps hamster um, bunny videos out for you guys. But um, let's start with the fish video. So the first thing is for plants. So let's talk a little bit about fake plants. So fake plants, they come in many different colors, blue, pink, yellow, purple, literally any color. They come in different sizes. There's big ones. There's really tiny ones. There's green ones. There's different textures literally anything you want you can find in a fake plant which is nice you can get different colors they don't die <laughs> that's nice and all but if you're going for a natural theme it's not going to look good if you're trying to keep your animals protected it's not going to go well and overall if you just want more of a kind of to get your fish in more of a natural environment it's not going to work so Fake plants, let's talk about a little bit of the cons since we did the pros. So for the cons is sometimes plants can be really sharp. As you know from live plants, they're soft, they're live plants, they're not meant to hurt anybody. Um, for the fake plants, since they're made out of plastic, um, it's kind of sharp in some places and some plants in general. Um, it's going to be more sharp. If your fish tries to eat a plant, which I've seen multiple times, they cannot digest plastic. If they eat a little piece of like that plant or something, it's not gonna do anything for them. Um, even if your fish doesn't eat plants, it's just way safer to have live plants. Um, it gives more of a feel for like a natural environment where they would find live plants like this out in their open and they wouldn't find plastic plants. So. Overall, between safety, looks, and environment-wise, live plants are a lot better than fake plants. So if you have live plants, which I totally recommend for all of your fish tanks, salt water, fresh water, anything like that, um, I recommend first getting a good gravel. I don't recommend really rocks that much. Um, I recommend 
a nice sand, a nice gravel where sometimes underneath the sand you can put like some rocks that can kind of help with the roots. I don't have those. I mean, it's not something you really need. Um, it's not something that might help that much, but it's up to you. So after you have the sand, you're gonna want to have an inch or two, an inch and a half to be able to stick your plant in the sand very hard um, so that the roots can um, grow down and be able to kind of stick to the glass at the bottom. Um, if you don't have that, your plants will fly up to the surface. They might get caught in the filter. They can distract and hurt your fish. So you definitely wanna make sure when planting them, there is something like sand or something a little bit heavier um, by the roots of the plant so it will hold it down. Next thing is light. Light is very important for any plants in either in fish tanks, out of fish tanks, any plant needs sun to survive. So these plants already have water, um, which if you were growing plants outside, you need to water them and they already have sunlight. But for these plants, they already have water and they need sunlight. So lights like the hoods on the 20 gallon tank or lights like here that can kind of suction cup to the side of the glass are perfect. Have it on for most of the day. You don't need it on when you're sleeping, but a good handful of hours is very good for the plants. When I wake up, I turn mine on, and when I'm going to bed, I turn it off. So if that can give you a good amount of time, um, definitely do that. Overall, live plants aren't that hard to take care of. There might be um, some more like mineral stuff you can add to the water to help them grow. I don't have any of that. If I do more research on it, I'll let you guys know if it works. Um, but overall, as long as you plant them nicely, you have the light on, live plants aren't that hard to take care of and can benefit your fish a lot. I hope you guys like this video. If you have any questions at all or any concerns or anything to help me, definitely leave them in the comments down below, as well as video ideas and edits, stuff like that. Leave them in the comments down below. I will see you in another video. Bye!